indeed, Brian, the word awakening is perhaps an appropriate one. Beyond a kind of awakening in the sense that that is a movement from somnambulance or dreaming into a state of vivid clarity, there was also this accompanying familiarity that Christ, a figure that I'm so accustomed to that I could easily ignore him, was present and loving and available to me. And that the idea of faith is something that can be practiced in the literal moment. I can move from my self-will, my self-centeredness and my greed as a sinner and a redeemed person, redeemed not by any merit of my own or any action of my own, but by the sacrifice that he has made for me, that he would have made for me if it was me alone that had ever lived. I like that clause, uh, but I am freed through this. Similarly, I am but one of all of the people saved by Jesus Christ. And in this fraternity, this sorority, this family, I feel great relief. I don't want to be in charge of my life no more. I don't want to be my own personal Jesus. I don't want that responsibility. I recognize my fallibility and I recognize the need for Jesus Christ. And when I don't feel the presence of Jesus, I feel it's really, really frightened and afraid. And when I feel him, I feel at great peace and I feel unassailable and I feel that I can move. Do you know what first time I did? I mentioned the other day, uh, Luke 10, 18. When the disciples come back, having been casting out demons, 72 of them, not the 12, so there must have been it must have been delegates. Maybe it was like the RNC. Who's to say? They came back excited and euphoric at having been casting out demons. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said to them, I was there when Satan was cast from heaven like lightning. You may move freely among scorpions and snakes, and you will cast out demons, for your name is written in heaven. Your names are written in heaven. And for me... As long as I operate upon a celestial plane in a state of surrender, then we may move among the plainly Luciferian and demonic, for Satan has been cast out. But when I return to the Luciferian consciousness of selfishness, self-centeredness, materialism, primal needs, primal greed, which I do pretty regularly because I'm fallen and, and I fail often, then, then I lose my connection to him. And it's a lonely, grim place, Brian. A lonely, grim place. I, I, I'm with you. We got more. Sounds like uh, Russell Brand is growing in his faith in Jesus. And uh, we pray that the Lord will uh, fill him with uh, spirit, give him peace, give him security, and help him to understand the word day by day more and more and more. And he is now speaking the name of Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. And Father, we just want to pray for Russell Brand today, Lord. We pray you bless him, Father, in his in his testimony of faith in the Lord and Jesus in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray, Father, that uh, his uh, influence will inspire many people to repent of their uh, greed and selfishness and pride, Lord, and, and humble themselves and desire to surrender at the cross. At the cross, at the cross, so where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. Alas, and did my Savior bleed and did my Sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for such a worm as I At the cross, at the cross Where I first saw the light And the burden of my heart rolled away It was there by faith I received my sight And now I am happy all the day Was it for crimes that I have done He groaned upon the tree Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. But drops of grief can ne'er repay the debt of love I owe. 
Here, Lord, I give myself away, tis all that I can do. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. May Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the King of kings and Lord of lords, may he be exalted today. May you find the joy of Colossians 127, Christ in you, the hope of glory, that the blood that Jesus shed on that cross will cleanse your sin and give you peace with God, the peace that passes all understanding to guard your mind and heart through Christ Jesus.